Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for September 18th through the 24th. This is for the sign of Cancer. I have pre-shuffled these for you, so whatever falls out, I'm going to let go. Um, this may or may not resonate as it's for thousands of people. This is for Cancer love reading, September 18th through the 24th. You have a lot of divine guidance this week, okay? You have a lot of major cards. That tells me there's a lot of universal guidance here that this is all part of the plan. Um, you do have like a new welling of emotion here. There's a lot of love this week with this card right down here at the bottom, the Ace of Cups. So there's, a, there's definitely some feeling of love. There's some kind of wake-up call. That's for darn sure. This is an awakening, and this is an awakening. So there's a there's a wake-up call this week. It, but it's not something that you weren't um, waiting for. It's like you knew this was going to come to light, whatever it is. There could be a rebirth, okay, because there's a, something new that is very... Um, it's like a breakthrough. There was a false foundation somewhere, and the truth is about to come out regarding the false foundation. Um... That's all there is to it. And I think it brings peace. It brings peace to your life because finally the truth is out. Um, I think that there's going to be a little bit less chaos than there has been. Perhaps you're going through a period of healing. Um, and maybe there's some overindulgences this week. Um, there's a need for balance. There's a need for moderation. So perhaps there's just a, you know, there's been a little bit too much... Um, Oh, what's the word? Dreaming going on. All right. A need to um, escape. Put it that way. Maybe you've just felt the need to escape. Something was false. You knew it all along. I'm not sure what it is, but the truth comes out. And it's like a time of rebirth. All right. Perhaps there's some, um, there's some addictions this week that are being fulfilled. All right. It looks like there's definitely a need to escape. Um... I think there's that you're trying to ignore a situation and you know you were trying to ignore a situation but you can't ignore it anymore all right because this is ignoring something again I know we have a two here and a two here right next to each other it's time to make a decision or you have made a decision or a choice okay there's something going on where you need to um, make a decision about something and you've been thinking about it and contemplating it and every once in a while you might want to escape from making this decision because it's just easier that way. Um, yeah. It, it is in regards to love, though, because I do see that there is some love here, but there's also um, some uh, desires that... Are, there's some desires here, some carnal desires. That shadow side is the devil card. Um, There's been a lot of small victories in your life. I think that you've persevered, and I think that you're very strong. You have a lot of life experience behind you. I think that you've took some time to go within and figure out what the next steps need to be. If not, you're doing that this week with that hermit card. Maybe you're like just going into your own shell and staying there for a little while to... Uh, contemplate what the next steps are going to be and that's where you're going to have your awakening you're going through you know looking over your past and all you've learned and putting that all together to figure out your next steps and um, I think you're just like stepping back 
and it's a period of healing and maybe it's even a period of escape where you use drugs or alcohol to help you out you know that's a maybe not for everybody you know um but i see that you're bringing peace back to your life after a period of pretending that something was okay when it really wasn't and you're just dreaming about the future um, but I do see that there's love down at the bottom, so that's great. You are definitely pretending. The Two of Swords twice, okay? You're ignoring or you have been ignoring a situation, which has caused you to go into your shell and be like, you know what? I'm not even, I don't even know anymore. Um, a Five of Wands. It's like it's a constant battle. There's some kind of constant battle. This is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so that's probably you. You definitely need to make a choice regarding your future seven of wands constant constant like i said you feel like you've got to fight constantly like you're up against the world this is you cancer and then we have the temperance again over indulgences this is like faking something faking a situation it's like um the need to escape you know so you're definitely feeling the need to escape this week. Not perhaps go within, you know, do whatever you got to do to ignore the situation and pretend this isn't happening. All right? It's like whatever's happening, it's like you're trying to pretend it's not really happening. It's like, I don't know. It's like you're trying to fight it for some reason. Um, but you're prepared for it. So it's weird. Well, there you have that three of wands. It's like you knew this was going to happen. And you're prepared for it even though you're trying to fight it. It's like it's a con something is a constant battle. And it's affecting your inner beauty. All right. Because underneath it you have the empress. Which tells me that you have a beautiful soul. But all this bickering and pretending is kind of like affecting you. Affecting your beauty. Okay. And you might be over to overindulging because of it. Because love hurts. Okay. Um. Let's see what else we can get. This is for cancer. And you could have another. Uh, you could have another cancer in your life, or a Scorpio, or a Pisces, that's affecting your um, foundation. Okay, or making you feel like you need to escape from the situation for a little while. Um, I do see that there's some addictions at play. Um, now addictions can be all kinds of different things and this this may or may not resonate with everybody the other person could have addictions all right but I do see there's a lot of um, having your defenses up you've got your guard up that's for darn sure and it's affecting your inner beauty and you just want to pretend that this isn't really happening or that this is that this isn't the truth or whatnot but you can't pretend because you have this awakening, the judgment card. There's some kind of awakening here, and it's going to cause you. You can't ignore the truth forever. I mean, this week you might be ignoring the truth. That's what it looks like to me. This is the future now, okay? These are the after tarot. This is the future, not this week. This is to come. All right, looks like you're going to start something new, Cancer. You're going to start something new, and it, you might be, you know, find another partner or with your partner that you're currently with. Okay, this is the world card with the fool card right next to it. You're about to start a new, a new phase of your life. When the world card comes up, this is in the future now. This is after you stop pretending about a situation. This, everything changes. The world card's a major new beginning. It's when you've learned something big. It's a completion. You've reached one finish line, and it's time to start something new. All right? A new chapter is right ahead of you. And this is kind of the same thing. This is the new chapter, but it's the unknown chapter. Okay? Where you don't know what's going to happen next, but you take that step anyway. That's what that card is. This is about following your own path. Doing the right thing for you. Honoring your inner self. Listening to your inner guide. Believing in yourself. Okay? This is also um, a blockage. Somebody could be blocking you. Could be you could be blocking yourself by pretending, or this other person, which is a Cancer, Scorp Scorpio, or Pisces, could be blocking you. Okay, this is also a blockage, so it can mean so many things. Um, there could be a marriage in your future if that's what you're looking for. Okay, 
um, but I see you mastering your emotions, which is great. Instead of be being one, I see you becoming two, you know, having an ally. All right. I see your, you growing financially, growing in stability. I see the fruits of your labors finally coming to fruition. Okay, this is the future. So I think that all your hard work pays off. You know, and your new, your, a new chapter starts in the future. And I don't see it as being alone. Okay, because in the before tarot or the right away or whatever you want to call it, it's just one person. Now it becomes two. He has an ally to go with him on his journey. Okay. So this week might be a week of just escaping from the, uh, from something, pretending that something isn't really happening okay but it is all right um and just going within to reevaluate and I, I do see a rebirth so i think that you're going to have some kind of awakening that causes you to acknowledge the truth of something okay so this week is um acknowledging the truth of something which might involve a little bit of um escapism all right but in the future it looks good because you're about to start a new phase of your life all right this is what i have cancer talk to you later september 18th through the 24th